CBS Sports presents College Football. Live from Ohio Stadium in Columbus, Ohio, it's the number one ranked Iowa Hawkeyes versus the Ohio State Buckeyes. But the Buckeyes and Earl Bruce must play without the big fella this afternoon. And here they come. who took this team to a Rose Bowl last year. And we are underway. A short kickoff. Harmon at the 9, 15. And stopped before he could get to the 20, coach with Chuck Long at quarterback. And behind him will be a fullback, David Hudson, who took over a couple weeks ago. Ronnie Harmon, he can catch passes, too, coming out of the backfield. Scott Helverson and Bill Happel, two outstanding control receivers. Mike Flagg, 6'6", 244. So they come up on first down with a slot left. Helverson is slotted to the left. Happel outside, one setback, three wide receivers. Long will put it up. Receivers are covered, almost intercepted. Is flanked out to the right, one setback. Here comes Harmon. Daylight on the left side, and he gets out to the 28-yard line. Crossman, 6'5", 275. Next to him, Humphrey, 6'3", 265. Mark Senlinger, the center, 6'2", 255. Bob Cratchit, 6'4", 270. And Mike Haight, 6'4", 275. This is a fine offensive line. Here's the eye formation for the first time. Helverson is in motion, and they come to Harmon again. Trying to get the first down. The Buckeyes force him out of bounds. Buckeyes, so it's three downs and out. Mike Lanise, the deep back. The sure-handed receiver. Signals for the fair catch. Only a junior. Now behind him is a former tailback, George Cooper. And the starting tailback today is the freshman, Vince Workman. Now his wide receivers, the control man, Mike Lanise, and the game-breaker, Chris Carter. The tight end, Ed Taggart, Carsados to pitch it on first down. Over the middle, Lanis has got it with a great catch. The ball was thrown high there at midfield. Ball is spotted at the 49-yard line, first and 10. And again, Carsados, to, no, it was that inside handoff to Cooper. Faking the pass. Now it is second down for Ohio State. Off a of fake, Carsados with time. He's got Lanis. First down inside the 30. Larry Station. Carsados again on first down will throw it. He had time. Carter, great catch. Down at the 10-yard line. John Woolridge checks in at tailback. They split the backs. His first appearance. They fake Cooper. Carsados deflected incomplete. Through the years, have we heard about the group at Ohio State? Jeff Uhlenhake, who did such a fine job against Minnesota. Mag, the veteran center. Jim Gilmore out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and then the freshman, Larry Cotterman. Now, it is second and goal for the Buckeyes. Workman is back at tailback. On a delay, they try to turn him loose, and Lanise goes into motion. They put pressure on the left side. Carsados looks in that direction, nails incomplete. A defensive performance when Ohio State was threatening. Spangler's kick is good. Ohio State strikes first here in Columbus. They get a field goal. back coming out and that wind keeps the kickoff out of the end zone Harmon at the 10 15 and again the Buckeyes stop him short of the 20 in CBS on first down they run the tailback Harmon here is Fred Ritter he's 6'2 244 and next to him Darrell Lee goes 6'3 258 Eric Comerow is called the stork because he resembles Ted Henry Chris Spielman, you've seen how he plays already today. Larry Kolick, he plays nose guard much of the time. The defensive captain is Pepper Johnson from Detroit. And Byron Lee is having a fine year. This is now second down at about five. Harmon can't get outside the defense. Will be tested. And William White back there at the corner. He intercepted a ball last week. Greg Rogan, of course, watching Happel and Helverson. Sonny Gordon is the rover back. And Terry White... 
They send Bush in motion. They run away from it. Harmon's got the first down. Helverson comes in motion. Happel is to the right. Long looks back and drops the ball off to Hudson. And the fullback gets out close. Now it's the power eye look. It is second and about a half yard. This time they run behind the motion man, and Harmon picked his spot and just got the first down. The three wide receivers, and only Harmon the setback. They run Harmon. He's cut off, and that was Ritter who wouldn't let him through the hole. A split back being shown by the Hawkeyes. And Long will throw, looking for his first completion. Deflected incomplete. And now plays as a down lineman. Long off a play fake. Great time from his offensive line. Down the sideline, incomplete. So Byron Lee did a good job. They put a punt block on. Iowa picks it up. Now Lanise will let this one bounce toward the end zone and go on in for a touchback. On December 5th in Houston, they'll present the Lombardi Award. First down, Cooper, the fullback, right straight ahead. Richard Pryor have had a lot of pressure on them this year, and they will have to show improvement. Jeff Ross is a real fine tackle. Hap Peterson, as good a nose guard as there is anywhere in the Big Ten. John Breeze, 6'4", 255. And George Millette, now a starter. John Woolley is the setback behind Carsado. Marsano goes deep and it's complete to Carter. First down, and the freshman, Vince Workman, is now the tailback. So Ohio State doing a lot of situation substituting. Movement down there. A dead ball foul, and Workman on the defense. Responding, I correct that. Look like he responded to Peterson. I agree. Yeah, I think it was a good call. Workman starting outside. I saw Larry Station showing blitz a moment ago. He's also an honor student. George Davis. He plays alongside Station, good inside linebacker. The secondary, Ken Sims, made that great tackle against Michigan. Nate Creer, he's out of Brooklyn. Jay Norvell, the leading interceptor on this Hawkeye team. And Devon Mitchell. <laughs> Tight end in motion, fake to the fullback. Carsados to Carter. Carter's free, but goes down at the 20-yard line. Seen himself and the ball. Lanise comes in motion. And here comes the tailback, Workman. Second down and four. And here comes Cooper. And he is short of the first down. Need touchdowns and not field goals. Take the Cooper. There's time by Carsados out of the end zone. Over through the now it is fourth and two. And the 31 yard attempt by Rich Spangler is on its way and he is missed for the first time. Rich Spangler is no longer perfect for the Buckeyes. And the Hawkeyes get another lift. And we'll have that next Saturday for you. Right now, it's Chuck Long and the Hawkeyes. Here is Hudson trying to come around. And Larry Kolick hit him right there at the 20 to put it up right here. Second and nine, and he does. Straight drop back. Long has time. Throws underneath the coverage that time. Now, that's where Ohio State was vulnerable. Long wanting a little quiet. He won't get it in Columbus. He'll put it up. Time. He overthrew him. Intercepted. And it falls down to the ground. Let's see how they rule it right there. The ball will be spotted. Giving the Buckeyes the first down right there. And they run the freshman. Workman, but there is a penalty flag down. I said that Spielman may someday be a Randy Gratishar. First and 15 for Carsado. They've been throwing on first down, but not this time. They run that pitch sweep with Workman, and the Hawkeyes are ready. But the one he wants is 21. Now they're changing. He looks quickly at Mitchell. Now he's got his eye on him, and he's hit as he releases, and it's intercepted right back. And that's the nickelback, Rick Schmidt, who's got it for the Hawkeyes. From the power eye, it's Harmon up over the top and out to the six-yard line. On second down, it was conservative. Harmon trying to spin free, brought down about the nine. Well, Early's a speedster. Draw. Long runs the draw. Harmon eludes one tackler, but can only get to the five. Oh, the Buckeyes are really swarming. In straight home game. Costabala to punt it. Under pressure, it's blocked out of the end zone for a safety. Sonny Gordon, number seven, coming through for the Buckeyes.
Everett Ross at the 30, 35. As time runs out in the first quarter. And the key play in the first quarter was Sonny Gordon, the rover back. He was set up on the left side of the rush. He came in on Castrovalo, who took a little bit too much time in getting rid of it. Knocking it out of the end zone for the two-point safety. And the defensive captain, Pepper Johnson, led the cheers on the sideline. The Buckeyes had gone up by five, and we'll return after this commercial break and a word from your local station. And after the safety, they have a first and 10. The ball is at the 33. Carsaros pitches the work from the freshman. Oh, a great tackle that time by Norvell. Second down and 13, and Barry Walker appears in the backfield comes in motion 43 they run away with it workman who is tripped up jim carsados calls signals for the buckeyes and he's going to put it up going long down the right sideline on east breaks three a little bit late that penalty was assessed against the buckeyes he'll hit it at about the 20 yard line high into the air happel at the 16 at the 20 and he has run out of bounds a point like this See if they figured something out here while they're on the sideline. Here's Harmon up the middle. On the pass play to the sideline, complete to Happel. It's a first down. Long is back again on first down. Throws underneath. And it is caught there by Harmon. Second down and three. The fullback, Hudson. Splendid run. Got off a would-be tackler that time. And Long will throw it. Has plenty of time. Fakes going underneath. Now he waits. Complete. Well, this is second and short. And the Hawkeyes will take a free one and throw. Going long to Robert Smith. Incomplete. And they've got a third and about a half yard. Fake bootleg. Long comes around. And he just did get it. <laughs> On first down, Long wants to set the screen. Harmon comes back the other way. And he is run down by Rogan. David Hudson is the lone setback. The throwing formation. On the move, Long dangerous from this. And it is picked off. Intercepted by White. William White has intercepted. And a lot of pressure on those youngsters, and they're responding. They'll run the fullback. Big Cooper right straight ahead. That's the program, White, yeah. folks. Now they run Woolridge. Daylight breaks free. Career against Chase. Woolridge got speed. He's going to go for a touchdown. Conservative here with a run and a sneak. That and they bring Helverson in motion. Long comes straight back. Down the right side, and it's intercepted again. And this one is intercepted by Rogan, number 29. The third interception against Chuck Long by the Buckeyes. First and 10 for Carsado. Off of fake. Earl Bruce will put it up. He comes underneath the workman who is run out of bounds. They run Cooper, the fullback, daylight. He's inside the 30, down to the 25-yard line. 
Now John Woolrich comes back, and here he is. His last carry was 57 yards for a touchdown. He comes up firing interception, three of them. Carsano's off a delay, run Cooper. Cooper for the end zone, gets to the five. It is a first and goal. Workman, the freshman, is at the tail. Cooper, he's met by the middle of that Hawkeye defense. Carsano's keeps it, and they ride him down hard. As he See what they come up with here. Woolridge is at the tail. The wide side is to Carsano's is right. Here, end around. Here comes Carter. Cuts back up the middle and fumbles the ball. We've got an illegal forward pass. Lost the down on the offense. Now, Spangler has made one from 28 yards, missed one from 31. Now it's 26 yards, and it's good. He's two of three. And Spangler puts the Buckeyes up 15 to nothing. Five minutes to go. Hayden Fries turn it back. As the ball teed up here in Columbus. Here's Harmon at the 10. Oh, knocked down hard at the 11-yard line. What great kickoff coverage by the Buckeyes from the eye. Chuck Long runs Harmon. And he gets out to about the 19-yard line. Here in Columbus, it is 15-0. The Buckeyes lead the Hawkeyes. Long rolling to the left. And his receivers were covered, and he is hauled down. Harmon gets out to the first down to Kolick at middle guard. Long to throw underneath to Harmon. And run out of bounds. Second and five. And they run Harmon. And he, well, the secondary of Ohio State has done a job here so far. This is to Hudson, the fullback. He comes out of that pile. He's still going. 35, 40, 45. Run out of bounds. He's coming over. Now it is first and 10. Long, straight back. Hard to the sideline. And again, the ball is thrown high. Incomplete. Or keep him down where he can tuck that ball in and deliver his own blow. Here's Harmon. Daylight. 45, 40, 35 yard line. Fake to Harmon, long underneath, and Harmon released into the middle. Sky defense right now because Iowa looks impressive on this drive. The blitz is on, Long gets it off, Happel has got it. Across the 20, 15, and he's down at the 12. And they run Hudson. He has run powerfully on him and then build on that in the second half. Long rolling to the right, faking. Receivers are covered. Incomplete. Rogan, he has two timeouts and 47 seconds. He's going to try to stretch out the defense. Harmon cuts back, and he is jammed up down there at the four-yard line. Well, here it comes for the Hawkeyes. It's the play of the half. Long pitches Harmon. Hudson leads the way. Harmon for the corner. And he's got it. Touchdown, Iowa. Ronnie Harmon steps in. And they took four and a half minutes to do it. And Rob Houtland, the Michigan hero, nails the extra point. It is 15-7. Gotta wish that some of those field goals had been touchdowns here in the first half. Here is the kickoff. On into the end zone and down there by Everett Ross. Iowa State will kill the clock right here. Build on that when we come back for the second half. Now we'll start the second half. Mark Cook kicks it off deep into the end zone. It'll be down there by Ross. John Woolridge is the tailback. He goes in motion. Garcados wants to throw on first down. Complete to Lanise. And driven out of bounds. There's the fullback, Cooper. He bangs out to the 36. The Hawkeyes show blitz and sends backs on out. 
Now Sims tightens up on the wide man, and they run Woolridge right straight ahead. And he is hit by Devon Mitchell. Lanise in motion. Here's the fullback, right straight ahead, close to a first down, but he may have been stopped short. And Cooper did get the first down. Lanise in motion. Carsados goes to the wide side in the motion man, Lanise, who steps out of bounds. Now the wide side of the field is to Carsados' is right. And they run Woolridge right straight ahead. And he blocks across the 40. And it's still to be determined if Iowa will be number one then. Little delay, great draw with Cooper, the fullback. And he's down inside the 15-yard line. He carried a couple of tacklers with him. Here's Woolridge and Jeff Cross comes in behind. Carsados off a great fake and it's incomplete. Third and 11. Here's Cooper on that sprint draw again and this time Iowa brings him down. Up and made it tough for the Buckeyes. And Spangler has missed one field goal. This one's no good either. And that is an enormous miss by the Buckeyes. No one feels any worse about it than the young man who attempted it, Rich Spangler. It's 15-7. Iowa is turn it back when you come back. They've hit two. They're 500. First and 10 for the Hawkeyes. And now it's Ronnie Harmon trying to get outside. Gets around Lee and gets out to the 28. Second down and two. Aye, and here's Hudson straight ahead for the first down. So here we are. And it is Ronnie Harmon of the Hawkeyes. Single setback for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and they run long right straight ahead for the first down. We're in the third quarter. Here's Harmon cutting back, has a hole, steps to the 45, and tries to spin three right now. Replay work look good, man. Now they run Hudson right straight down close to the 40-yard line. With a nice drive running the football. It's Harmon again with that little spin move. Chuck Long complaining that he cannot be heard. Now he goes ahead with the play. Waiting on third down, he's bumped. Gets the pass loose, and it is to 79. <laughs> Mike Haight, and there's a penalty flag down all over the field. Down, and I think it take, might take him out of field goal position. And a couple of near misses will try again. Gets this one off. Lanise lets it bounce. And it'll go out of bounds. Here it is, first and ten now for the Buckeyes. Long count by Carsada. Runs the tailback, Woolridge. Penalty flag is thrown, however. First and 17. And they run Woolridge again, and Dross was ready for him that time. Here's the second down for Carsado. Off the fake. He's got time. Intercepted by Iowa. Jay Norvell has done it again. And he's down to the 19-yard line. His sixth interception of the year. That he can't hear going into the closed end of the stadium. Here's Ronnie Harmon. Trying to wiggle three and he cannot. In the big head field position. Here's Harmon, hole in the middle, close to the 10-yard line. Harmon cuts back, struggling to get the first down, and he may be short of it. Power on. Harmon tries to go over the top, cannot make it. Ohio State ball. What a defense. Terrific job of defense. First down, they've just power out straight ahead with Cooper. Bill Matlock checks in as fullback. They run the tailback, Woolridge, and he gets out to the 30-yard line. Cooper has returned after missing one play because of the injury. Second down, they run him right away, and the Hawkeyes were ready. Richard Pryor, single setback showing on this third down. Carsados off the fake. Goes complete. First down. Cooper 
near midfield. They slot Carter to the right. They run Cooper straight ahead. And he is short in the first down. Ohio State content to let it run out. They lead 15-7. And it was a defensive play that did it. On fourth and one, they stopped Ronnie Harmon. We'll be right back for the final 15 minutes. They have a third and two as we start the fourth quarter. Long count by Carsada. And the tailback, Woolridge, bangs in close to a first down. The end zone. He hangs it high. Harmon wants the fair catch, fakes it, lets the ball bounce, and it goes out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It would affect other things. Long is back to throw. He has time to the sideline, Helverson, and Helverson swings free fumble at the 30-yard line. The officials go to the Buckeyes with the recovery. Long is at the 31. And here's Cooper pounding ahead with the fullback, and he gets inside the 25 probation until January 1st. And here is Woolrich inside the 20-yard line. First down. Here comes Workman to the short side. The hole is there. Workman got down inside the five-yard line. Now it is first and goal inside the five. Workman stops short. Here's Workman looking for a hole. Touchdown, Ohio State. They finally capitalized it on it. The extra point is good. The pressure is on the number one ranked Hawkeye. We'll be right back. That point early. So Ronnie Harmon's brother is back deep. And Kevin lets it bounce on out of the end zone. The game, number 28. And Chuck, no nonsense, no play fake, just drop back. There's a penalty marker down. Interception. Oh, Rogan dropped the ball. On. Second down, dropping back. He hits Hudson. Hudson out to the 27-yard line. Bill Happel will try it again. Here comes Kevin Harmon. Breaks a tackle, first down, gets out to the 40, and out to the 45. 10-17. Long back again. Going down the sideline, this time incomplete. And there's a penalty marker down. And the flag is down near the 30-yard line. They're on the side. First and 10, fumble, and recovered by the Hawkeyes, and they managed the game. About the sophomore and Greg Rogan, the other one. Long pulls out, fake goes down, has an open man complete inside the 20-yard line. Great quarterback from the Big Ten. Long throwing, Halverson, and it's incomplete. All-time total yardage leader in the Big Ten, but this has not been his best afternoon. Long is back. Waiting, throws for the end zone, and Happel incomplete, and the penalty flag is down. And the ball will be first and goal. And a chance for the Hawkeyes to get right back in it. Long will throw on first down. Rolling to the right, he's got time, and he's got a hole. Throws it, incomplete. They rule that Helverson was out of bounds, and he's furious. They took it and goal. And they run right straight ahead. Kevin Harmon. They'll run Hudson. He dives over the top. And he's got the touchdown for Iowa. The Hawkeyes stay alive in Columbus. Now, he should probably go for two right now, Era. Yeah. The first time, because if you fail here, you've got to come back. Yeah, he needs the 15 points. They have to go for the two points. Absolutely. From the power eye, Bush in motion. Option. Long options. Here's Kevin. Kevin cannot get there. He is stopped by Sonny Gordon, number seven. Uh, 
Cook tees it up. Let's go. It'll be down for a touchback. He is. That's an incredible statistic. On first down, Cooper bangs straight ahead. For Workman is the tailback era. And he's going to come. He cuts back. There it is. Workman trying to come free, and Nate Career would not let him. Chupa gets it off. Robert Smith seals it at the 28. Looks for daylight, but that specialty team coverage of the Buckeyes. Hit. And the Buckeyes recovered and converted to a score. Long to throw on first down. Forced out of the pocket. Now he comes back with the completed pass. And Kevin Harmon is on the field. And Bush is the fullback set in front of him. Off a of fake. Long to throw. Goes down the middle for Robert Smith. And incomplete. Quinn Early was there. On third down. Complete for the first down. To midfield. Hawkeyes, remember, need two scores. A touchdown and a field goal. Long with time, comes to the sideline, complete again. Kevin Harmon, up the middle. Got to the 31-yard line. But here, the top team in the country, the Hawkeyes of Iowa, struggling. Second and five. He completes it to Robert Smith. Down to the 23-yard line. Kevin Harmon is caught that time. Long back. Incomplete and out of bounds. Help. Open is early. Oh, they right. had it, yeah. but White hammered him. He was about a 42-yarder. Kick is on its way by Houtman. No good. Yeah. Eight left to go. Now they'll work away at the clock. Cooper wrapped up by Jeff Drop. Workman straight ahead. A third and eight, and Iowa badly needs the ball and a real quick touchdown. Carsados runs the draw. Workman is wrapped up. And the flag goes down as the time runs out. To the next drive here. Good blocking. Here's Smith, the 35. What great kick coverage, and it has turned out so well for him here this afternoon. Now long, with time running out, throws incomplete. Long pass intercepted, number four. Coming over and out of bounds is Chris Spielman who puts a capper on it here in Columbus. The Hawkeyes are unbeaten no longer. To pay honor to all those who have been buried here, well, there's one more burial going on in Columbus right now. The final second, pick away in Columbus. Ohio State has done it again. And Iowa must regroup next week. They were number one for five straight weeks. And they have finally fallen. And the Buckeyes come up a winner. They're celebrating like they just won the national championship, <laughs> Coach. Didn't take long for that goalpost to go. Well, I'll tell you, when you knock off the number one team, you have to be doggone proud because it's no easy chore. They beat a heck of a football team. Story of the day was? My opinion, it was the Ohio State Buckeye defense. Four interceptions. That's very difficult for any team to overcome. I think they camouflage their coverages. 
They changed it. A team that had yielded much yardage to other passing teams absolutely did a sensational job here. In particular, Terry White, who has won the Chevrolet Award, was outstanding along with the rest of the Buckeyes.